Hi guys, we're gonna try this one more time. So hopefully now everything is up and running fine. So as usual, I'm gonna wait a while to make sure people are still watching. So I'm gonna wait a while and then we're gonna see who is gonna come on. So in case you're curious and you're new, what you are watching is Free Your Mind. Free Your Mind is on every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. However, today we are pretty late as we were having technical issues that was beyond my control. Now today we have a very interesting topic. So before I get into reading the letters and stuff like that, I'm just going to wait for people to join back the chat as we got, you know, a little disturbed before. So, so far I can see that a lot of people did have a bit of a patience and they are back on. So we have Judith, we have Ajara, we have Finindi, I'm always messing your name up, and we have Miriam. Hi, Miriam. So we're going to wait a while, just a while, so that those people who were already on the chat could be notified that somehow we are back up, and hopefully this time we will get through our letter, okay? So... Hopefully everyone is seeing, so I'm keeping constant check on the chat, and now it is telling me that the stream is healthy. So I hope I did justice to fixing the issues, okay? So before I start, I just want to say thank you all for joining in, and thank you for having the patience to wait for the chat to be back up. So this is free your mind so hi guys welcome to free your mind we're here to help someone to get things off their chest we're here to help someone to free their mind now what is free your mind free your mind is where you send your letter if you're having problems if you're having situation and you're not comfortable sharing it with your friends or your family however you just want to talk about it with a complete stranger and my subscribers and we're just gonna read your email we're not gonna call your name we're just gonna help you to just unload and then we're gonna go through the email and we're gonna just form our own opinion on it so i hope you are ready for this when you send your email in all right so that's what free your mind is all about hi lola i see your guys are back up hi judy sharice and felicia alisa linda sarah all right so guys it seems like free your mind is back on and in a minute, I'm going to get the show on the way just in case the internet start acting up again. All right. So right now it's still showing that we are still live and we are still going. So I'm going to jump right into today's letter. Today's is a very interesting letter. So let me begin by reading the letter. All right. So here we go. And listen carefully for the letter, all right, guys? So, this is Free Your Mind. Okay, here we go. Hi, okay, the title of today's letter is Feelings for Holder Women, all right? So, dear Chichi, thank you for opening an opportunity for us to talk. I am a 42 years old married woman. Oh, sorry about that. I am a 42 years old married woman with two kids. I have been married for 10 years and the marriage is okay. My problem is I have feelings for older woman. I started having feelings for one woman who is 54 years old, but I could see that she has realized that I have feelings for her. I decided to slow down and now we are friends. I really like hanging out with her, going out, etc. Now I like this other woman in our church. 
and she is older than I am in her 50s and she doesn't know I have feelings for her because we are not close. The kind of feelings are not sexual but I feel like I need them to just love me, kiss me and cuddle me. I do not have any I do not have any sexual feelings towards them. I feel like I need them to listen to me, share some loving moment, example, going out to a restaurant or shopping. I don't know how to show this other woman that I like her. I'm scared of being embarrassed and being viewed as a lesbian, which I don't think I am. I think about her all the time. Here it comes, her eyes her smile. I wish she could call me or send me a message or sometimes I feel I could call her. I don't know. I don't have her number and I'm scared to ask anyone for her number. I wish she could hug me, kiss me. I wish she could hug me and kiss me. My husband know her as well as we all go to the same church, but I never said anything to him about her. Please don't judge me. I'm desperate. So, did you guys all hear the letter? Ah. <laughs> okay, Joe. All right. So, this is a very tricky letter. Here is the summary of the letter. Basically, this is a married woman and she has been married for 10 years and her marriage is great. However, of late, she's starting to have feelings towards older woman. In this letter, it didn't state her age, but if she's saying older woman and she's calling a 50 year old uh, older woman, I'm assuming this person is probably in the 30s. All right. Now, she actually had liked this particular one and somehow this lady found that she was interested in her. However, they eventually turned out to be friends and listen carefully. That wasn't enough. She actually started having feeling for another woman at her church. Now, this time she's scared to express herself that she's having this kind of a feelings towards this other woman. What she wants from these women mostly is to hang out, to do dinners and go out. However, there are times when she feels she needs these women to hug, cuddle and kiss her. However, another however, she is also saying that she don't want to be judged as a lesbian because she does not think that she is and basically looking for friendship. Now, just by reading this letter, the first word that I'm going to use to describe this person is curious. She is extremely curious and I am going to say that a bit confused about her feelings. For one, if you are interested in finding friendship, that is something that takes time to develop. It takes time to get to know somebody that you can hang out, you go to the restaurant and all of that with, and nothing is wrong with that. That is okay. If you're married and you're home and you're lonely and you go to church and you have your church sisters and you want somebody that you could do dinner with, invite over and all of that, I am very much for that. However, the tricky part of this letter is that sometimes I feel I need them to hug, cuddle and kiss. Hug, cuddle, kiss is more than just a friendship. You hug your friends, yes. You don't cuddle your friends and you don't kiss your friends. Not, you know, you might be like, mochu, mochu, bye, bye, bye. But the cuddling and the kissing and the need for this, the feelings when you're by yourself, the longing is something else. So right now you're at a stage where you are totally confused or you're totally curious 
all right now the first lady that you actually fell for you are now friends now this part you didn't say you are having a friendship is this just friendship or are you getting hugging kissing and cuddling apparently not and the reason why I'm gonna assume not is because you're now looking for another friend if you were just trying to have just one friend and now you get this person you will be totally satisfied because now you have a buddy you could go movies with you could go to the restaurant with however you are looking elsewhere because guess what the curiosity has not yet been fulfilled bottom line is and guys if I'm wrong correct me she really want to have an experience with a woman I'm gonna go to the board and I'm gonna say it a second time my opinion is and this is my personal opinion she want to have an experience a sexual even though she said it's not sexual okay she just want to fulfill that side of her that curious side of her when it comes on to being with a woman now I'm going to go to the board and I'm going to see what people are saying all right so the first person on the board is Mariam and the marriage in the marriage must respect and love what he and she in the okay I think your language is not but I'm gonna try and problem more marriage just for a family not for herself so you are basically trying to say there's problem in the marriage however she said the marriage is perfect all right let me go on to Asia maybe she's yearning a motherly or the love of an elderly maybe grandmother figure because she either didn't have it or miss it because her mom or grandmother who did that is either deceased or far away you also have a point there all right let me move on to Sharon she's having some psychology psychological problems how is it not sexual if she's kissing and cuddling then her husband know nothing about how she feel hmm <clears throat> seem like this could be problematic all right all right um Tanji she should include her husband <laughs> Tanji please behave yourself all right all right <laughs> judith yes definitely she is curious d michelle good <laughs> you guys all right when i started the first chat that was up i had actually asked everyone to behave themselves all right i'm gonna say it right now guys always remember this is a real person sending in a letter so please be nice all right i want you guys to just let it out in terms of exactly how you feel and what you think about the letter however keep it clean all right guys all right georgia you are absolutely correct. Uh, Sintra, she should get it. <laughs> she should get it over with. So basically, okay, Sintra, you're also saying that you think she is confused. All right. So it's either or either. All right. I do know that. It's all right, Tanji. It's all right. We're just having fun. I do know that. All right, it could be also boredom, right? If she is bored, like, does she really work or does the husband goes to work and she's home with nothing to do or is this just a weekend thing? Like, she probably don't have friends. Did she, like, move from home and is far away from everyone else? But basically, we I could break down and I could say all of what is going on. But the bottom line is if you're very smart and if you read this letter, it is obvious that this person is really having sexual feelings towards older women, regardless of the fact that she's denying it. And that's the bottom line. There's no way you're going to seek a friend. If you're seeking a friend, you're going to be a bit needy, but you're not going to be home and you're going to be... I never experienced that, like wanting to have just a friend and you'll be home and you're basically daydreaming about this person. You wish this person could hug, kiss you. That's definitely the sign signs that you are interested. Now... The reason why you're not considering yourself to be a lesbian, which frankly I don't really think you are, is the fact that you are just curious. 
Now, if you play on this, you could either go left or right, or basically you could get your kiss and you could get your cuddle and it, everything would be fine and you're not interested anymore. Curiosity killed the cat, all right? So right now I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna agree with you that you're really not a lesbian, however, you're having feelings and you're extremely curious and this is something that if you do not get your curiosity filled, it's going to continue. I don't know if it's going to fade out because you were interested in one person and what happened, you and that person became friend. It did not fulfill your needs. And because you weren't fulfilled, what happened? Your eyes went on someone else. So what if this other person actually became your friend? What is going to happen is that that emptiness is still going to be there. So your eyes is going to go somewhere else until this curiosity is taken care of. Going back to the board to see if anyone is agreeing with me. Lola, hi, Lola. She, she wants a man for 10 years now. And she's craving a woman. She wants to come out the closet. <laughs> now, what is so funny about this Lola is that she's happily married. And she's not saying that she has been having these feelings from a younger age for younger years. I'm thinking that if she really was in the closet, these feelings would have been there before. I'm thinking 10 years of marriage, this person have to be in the 30s because a 50 year old is an older woman to this person. So I'm not thinking 20s unless she got married in the teens. So I'm saying this person is in the 30s, so it could be mid 30s, 33, 34. I'm just assuming, I have no idea, but I'm just thinking. So at that age, if there was something going on before, she would know unless she's not saying it in the letter. Unless basically this letter is a way for her to say, honestly, I'm having sexual feelings towards women and this has been going on for some time but because she's scared that I'm going to judge she just said it's recently you never know and that is just my opinion of the letter I'm just trying to read into it or deeper into it however I am not going to take it back that she is extremely out of 1 to 10, she's at 9.999999 um, curious. And she's not going to stop until this happens. She's just going to keep going, keep going, keep going until this happens. Now, what should I tell this person? Somebody give me an answer. Hi, Stacy Ann. She said she, oh, she said she's 42. Oh, I didn't see that. All right, so let's see. Um, oh, yes, it's right there on the top. I'm 42 years old with kids. Okay, 42 and you're thinking that 50 is older. Okay, mm, given this. So this person is 42. At 42 years old, you should know before. So I'm going to say, okay, I'm just thinking if this person has been honest and is really honest with this letter, which I don't see any reason why this person shouldn't be because this is free your mind and she's, she really, you know, sit and she send this letter in, which I think is a genuine letter. So I'm going to say this person is just starting to come into our feelings and this could have been from boredom. All right, 42. Didn't the letter say yes there? I just realized that it's, she's 42 years old. All right, it might build up a strong relationship if she started something. Hmm. There's a movie, I think I just recently watched this movie, and it's very similar. If I remember when I'm done, I'm going to put the movie, the, and it's for you, feelings for older women, whoever you are. I'm going to, as a matter of fact, I'll email you back, and I'll give you the title of the movie for you to watch. All right? So it's similar. It's a similar situation. All right. D. D Michael, she's meeting these girls in church. <laughs> Lola, well, this is 2017 and it is a norm to be gay. It's not like five years ago. Maybe she is in the best time. She maybe she she maybe think it's the best time to come out. She probably got married thinking it could change her, but something.
something is going on. All right, Jackie, she may want the affection of an older woman to, rem to remind her of her mother or curious about women and may be a lesbian. I think she is curious. The honest truth is I think she is curious. She's married and okay, let's say you didn't get your the love from your parents or your mother. You didn't get that motherly love. And when you're older, you feel like, you know, you missed out on that. I don't think it would be a situation where you want the kissing, the hugging, and the cuddling. I would think that you try to be friendly with, like, the older ladies in the church, and you'd want to be baking them cakes and doing things just to get their attention. But this attention that she seek is deeper because she did got the attention of one lady that she is now going to restaurant with, and she's been able to do shopping and stuff like this this was the first lady that she actually likes now she said the lady actually caught on to her and now they are friends however note that this did not fulfill her if at this stage she had been like okay this is enough because seeking a motherly love then here she have this person giving her all this motherly love but no she's not satisfied she went on to find another person and now she's having this kind of an interest in the other person so bottom line that's curiosity Bottom line, that's definitely she's curious and she's not going to stop and she's not going to feel fulfilled until this is been taken care of. And that's just my opinion. And yes, she could, she just be a boring wife who goes nowhere but church and she needs a social life. <laughs> that is it as all. She's watching too much movies. All right. All right. Um, Cynthia. She's scared to admit she's a lesbian. All right. No, Cynthia, she never really said she act up on it yet. But those are definitely feelings that could be connected to being mm, like in the opposite, the, the same sex. And I do agree with that. Just by reading and going through the letter, I am going to clearly say that she's interested in women. It could be for fun. It could be temporary. But something is going on now. You have nothing to be ashamed of. You are at a stage in your life where you want to explore and you want to be yourself. However, because you are married and you have your husband and definitely you said it's a a good marriage, you got to also think that you're not in this thing alone. This is not all about you, but right now it's about two people. Now, if you act on this, is this going to destroy your marriage? Yes or no. So you got to think about these things also, because one day of kissing and cuddling could cost a year or more of hurt and pain. Okay. All right, Joyce, I say whatever float or boat, who are we to judge? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So we are not here to judge anybody. And we, there are plenty of people out there that are basically in the same situation. However, I note that she's in the letter by saying she's desperate. And as I said, you got to live your life to suit yourself and nothing is going to stop you. I know nothing is going to stop you. However, whatever you do, you got to bear in mind that you do have a family and you got to think about that before you act. I would suggest, and guys, don't beat me on this. I would suggest that you run it by her husband. Mm, it's they, That's the best person to talk about it with. I definitely would suggest that she run it by her husband. Now, if you do not want your husband to know about it, then that's another story. However, if the relationship is as solid as you claim in the letter, you should let your husband know. And I think he probably will work with you. All right. All right. Let's see what is on the board. All right. Um, Fendi, who she has more feeling for the husband or these ladies? Marriage is fine. The letters clearly stated that marriage is fine. Two wonderful kids and all of that. Marriage is fine. Something is lacking in the marriage also. It's obvious. But I don't want to go there. As someone said, as Stacey was saying, she's probably very bored and is seeking excitement. And this is one way for her 
to excite herself. All right, Judith. Actually, children are involved too, so she had to think before she do it. Yes, definitely. It's a tricky situation. And that's why I'm saying, and if anyone agree with me, let me know. Should she or should she not discuss this with the husband? Let me hear what the board have to say. All right, D. Michael, she should put... <laughs> D. Michael, please behave yourself. She should put an ad in Craigslist, woman seeking woman, platonic, miscellaneous, romance. <laughs> D. Michael, please behave yourself, okay? All right, Sandra, please give me the name of the movie. Maybe they could have. <laughs> All right, guys, you all need to read. Um, um, central comment because I'm not gonna repeat it in case they flag my video so <laughs> so you guys need to read all right let me know on the board who agreed that she should discuss it with her husband please let me know Joyce I agree she does have a husband and she should think about that she does have to realize children are involved right because one night of fun could make a really big mess what are her husband views on this you know stuff like that and listen to me you do not really have to go to your husband and just like oh, like girls in my church older women no you do not have to do that what you could do you could keep inting 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 you know just say something sometime and he probably like what did you say and you just keep saying things just to get a feel of how you would react when you actually said you know i'm having strange feelings because if you guys are together for 10 years, I'm just assuming that you understand each other, you have a connection, it could be like basically your soulmate, and you could say things, but just feel him out first, like, oh, that lady look nice, and he's be like, who? you like, oh, Sister Mary at church, like, you know, <laughs> just things like that just to see how your husband feel because you are not in your mind you're in this by yourself but you are basically not in it by yourself all right back to the board jackie i don't know if the husband would understand that though but if he love her he may help her all right that's good also um charletta no you might show it in her face Mm hmm that is why I'm saying don't just go and say it like that just little in here little in there just to get a feel you know I'm just thinking that okay Michelle I agree she should discuss it with her husband and sit and talk about it and we are also open mr. husband is not ignorant to the fact all right all right judith yeah she should discuss it with him all right good good now that's funny bro back mount <laughs> Ooh, i can't ah, keep it together keep it together and for those of you who do not know what broke broke back mountain is it is actually a movie all right so you guys could go research that when you are done all right <laughs> the michael um stacy and sister miriam week i mean most Older people are like Sister Mary and stuff like that. All right, Cece, is she willing to destroy her marriage? She asks herself that question. That is it. And that's the serious part of this. We might be joking and carry on about it because we are all expressing ourselves. And as women, we know we are, we're nobody on the board is perfect. So we're not here to judge her. We're just here to help her and try to, you know, suggest things or make her come to her senses that you know probably this is not the way to go and sometimes the grass is not greener on the other side you might think you know this is what you want but eventually when you get there it's not what you want and stuff like that so she have a lot to consider but however the fact that this is my show okay and she's asking for advice I am gonna say that she's not gonna be satisfied until she fulfill her curiosity and that's the bottom line if you read over the letter what I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna try to see if I could clip and paste the letter in the description box so you guys could have a nice little read of the letter and judge for yourself notice that this is a private show when it comes on to these letters we do not put email we do not call names we have we said absolutely nothing for anyone to have any idea who these letters are from okay it is totally 
private. Alright, Fendi, I agree she needs to talk to her husband. Maybe he can help her since they have been married for that long. He must know her more than anyone. I'm thinking that too. If they have a good relationship, then she could sit and talk with him. However, we do not know the nature of the husband, so I would say to go slow. Go slow, 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 slow. Go to church. Point him out. Like, oh, Sister Jane Anbag look good today. Like, you know, little things, little things. All right, Lola, she needs to talk to her husband. Some of, some of these are in into this stuff. Yeah, Lola. But Lola, these are church people, you know. So, who to tell? What if Ozzy is the pastor? <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, she really have to go slow. Okay, guys, as I said, I'm going to Clip and paste the letter in the description box below so you guys could actually get a good read. Hi, Miss Gorgeous. You are so late. So, so late. All right. So, Jackie, she need to find out yes or she will keep having these feelings. So, if she try it, she will. Yeah, she's going to keep having this feeling. It's not going to wait. It's not going to go away. All right. So, Latchman, I used to like older women too. Okay, Latchman. So, give us a quick little rundown. You're on the board. You said you used to like older women too. What happened? Did you act on it? Yes or no? You don't have to go in a great detail. Just let us know. Did you act on it and was it okay and did it fulfill your curiosity or just just give us a little hint, okay? Nobody know who you are. So just tell us since you used to be in the same boat. Basic, well, we don't know if you're married or anything, but you used to have feelings for older women. So just on the board, just let us know if you went all the way and how you are feeling right now. All right, she ain't as sick as you. <laughs> she ain't as slick as you. <laughs> all right, all right. Here comes somebody that is gonna pray for her. Praise the Lord. All right. Um. So Jenna, she could try. Oh, you're saying that she should try praying. That's good. Also, talk it over with Jesus. It's my, it's, 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 yes, yes, it's just, she's in the church. And actually, this is something that she should have been praying about a long time. Because these are church people, okay, right? So, prior help, when you go to church and they said, normally the pastor would be like, is there anybody in the congregation with any former issue step forward? Bam, 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 go up there because pastor is not going to say, what's your problem? So, yes. Ask for prayer at church and get direction. Right? All right. Good. All right. Fendi, teacher, do you have a WhatsApp? <laughs> yes, I do, but it's private. All right. Okay. Fida, what a mess. She just possessed by the spirit of Jezebel and needs serious help. Help. All right. Now we are talking. Here comes the church. All right. So I don't think she's possessed. I'm going to disagree with you. This is just a curious woman. It's a curious woman. It's normal. It's hormones. It's curiosity. It's boredom. It's, you know, all of that could just fall in one big fat basket. Because we really, it's just a letter with about three long paragraphs. So we have no idea about this person's life. So because of that, we are just, you know, trying to help. So I'm going to wrap up the show, guys. And... Kitchy, I've been with an older woman. I do it again anytime. Just say it. <laughs> okay, Miss Stacy Ann. So, some people actually have been with older women and some people have been liking it. But what is happening is that you probably have been with an older woman. Was it because of curiosity or was this because of something or is it that you are a lesbian? So it's, it's actually a different situation. You like older women because you are true to yourself about your feelings like, you know, I'm really liking women so it was okay for me to like older women. Or was this a situation where you were just curious and you want to see what it feels like to be with an older woman? So it's a tricky situation. So you need to be a little more specific, if you know what I mean. All right? All right. Um, 
Joyce, she's doing, she's not possessed. She just maybe want to show her husband how to please her. Something is definitely missing in the marriage. Something is missing. Or she's not getting something. Or she... Get a little tired of Ozzy. Hey, Ozzy, he really need to step up his game, you know, because if he don't step up his game, he's going to lose his wife. Bottom line. Sorry, guys, I'm sweating. But it's the truth. It's reality, you know, and that's what I like about this show. We can be open, we could express ourselves, and we could keep it real. And there's no need for me to hold back. I'm just keeping it real. Ozzy better step his game up. Other than that, he's going to lose his wife. All right, so that's the final say and i'm just gonna say to you thank you for writing in i hope we weren't really too hard on you and you personally you're the only one that is gonna make this decision it doesn't matter what i said it doesn't matter what the people on the board is saying when it comes down to the end of things you are gonna make your own decision i could be here and i could tell you not to act on it because you have a husband you have children but at the end of the day you are gonna do whatever you want to do and I know it okay so I'm just here to tell you whatever you do you be careful and you want to make sure that it worth you while okay so thank you for writing in and nobody's judging you you're at the age where your hormone is going crazy and things are happening and things happen to a lot of people so nobody's here to judge you and I'm glad I could help you to somehow just get it out at least you tell somebody and that's what this show is all about you have freed your mind so thank you for writing it and thank you all guys for a wonderful chat and remember if you have a situation and you just want to talk about it you're going to send your email and you're going to put in the title free your mind and you're just going to express yourself like this lady do and we're going to read your email we're going to talk about it we're not going to say who you are and we're just going to help you to free your mind. Thank you all for watching, guys. And thank you for your constant support. Thank you for hanging on in there when the chat was going crazy, going on and offline. Free Your Mind is on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it's live chat and come with your contribution. You, could, you are free to discuss and just be hoping as we are. Thank you all. Join me next week for another in the series, Free Your Mind. Have a wonderful evening, a wonderful morning, a wonderful night. Thank you all. Bye.